What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. We had a wild day in the market. Roblox stock is exploding right now. It's up over 40%. We have some huge news with this one and a lot of other stocks to watch. So all in all, make sure you guys stick around to the end of today's video. We have a ton of crazy news and some great setups right now. And let us know what stocks you are watching in the comments down below, and we'll probably cover them in tomorrow's video but tom like i said roblox stock is going crazy what's going on with this one yeah roblox is on fire and they're actually soaring on a report that they that their revenue doubled in the third quarter we can see that they reported uh they reported earnings yesterday during after hours they exploded yesterday and they kept running up all day long today especially at the end of the day running up above 110 dollars. that was just such a crazy move to the upside they actually had some really good numbers on their daily active users. They're actually up 31% year over year. They're at 47.3 million versus 43.2 million in the second quarter. So that's awesome numbers there. And then there's also a lot of potential for Roblox with the metaverse. I know that the meta ETF is actually holding a lot of Roblox. It's actually the third highest weighting in there. So that's a very interesting thing to see. But Overall, Roblox had a huge explosion up on this earnings, and I feel like the metaverse potential has a pretty big reason why they also popped up. You know it. So it, it's just going crazy. So, Tom, like what levels do you have for us? I know right now we just hit highs of like $111 or so. Like what levels are you watching and what do you think of this stock for like the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I'll go ahead and create some uh, intraday trend lines here. But as we can see there, I think there will be a support coming up around $105. We definitely had a lot of consolidation right around there today. And then there was also some consolidation right at $100 even. I think that's going to be a big psychological level in everybody's minds. And it was honestly a really cool thing to see them break out above that and then confirm off of that in the middle of the day like we saw right there. So it was a really good bounce for the next couple of days. Man, I'm really going to be eyeing this one to the upside. The metaverse has been really making lots of stocks fly up. Now, we did have a pretty unfortunate pullback today. Lots of stocks were down like BLNK, RUN. A lot of the growth stocks that have been going up have been kind of tanking off. Even Palantir had a really bad move on earnings. But Roblox is really moving up. I would really look for that break of all-time highs right around 110.94. And if we go to the daily chart, you can see this was just such an amazing gap to the upside and it was kind of looking like Palantir was starting to sell off heading into here, or I should say Roblox, but that explosion was amazing, Mike. And I love the metaverse potential here. I don't really know too much about how they're going to be implemented in there, but it's amazing to see. Exactly. So this uh, price action is awesome. And we can just see throughout like uh, the past, you know, when Roblox runs, it normally runs for a couple weeks. And, you know, we've been seeing a lot of stocks that explode off of earnings continue for a couple days. So either way, just keep this one on your radar. Again, it is up over 40%. So definitely be careful, but it has a ton of momentum. And Tom, while we have Roblox skyrocketing up, we have good old Tesla tanking down. Yeah, look at this stock sell off. This is very unfortunate for Tesla. Like we talked about over the past couple of videos, Elon Musk came out on Sunday, I believe it was, and he created a Twitter poll saying that he would sell 10% of his stock if yes, won the vote, and it, and it did win. So as we can see, Tesla ended up falling down 12% about just today. That was a pretty bad move to the downside. There was some pretty weird news that came out where his brother actually sold some shares, which was pretty interesting, Mike. Can you can you go ahead and let us know about that? This is um, pretty crazy. So Elon Musk's brother, Kimball Musk, or however you pronounce it, sold $110 million worth of Tesla stock, but not today. He sold basically at the top on November 5th. So he timed this thing what seems to be perfectly, and he sold like right before the end of the weekend. And then of course on the weekend, Elon made that tweet and the stock just totally reversed. So Tom, talk about, you know, quote unquote timing it. It's uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing timing. You can see Tesla really tanking off to the downside. He almost had the exact top there. Um, I'm not sure if they manufactured this top or if, uh, if in the end it just ended up selling off off of Elon's news, but Either way, that was really crazy to see how he had that perfect timing there. It's Elon's brother and it's the Tesla director. So just really crazy news. Um, obviously, insider stuff goes on all the time. And, you know, whenever uh, 
whenever you have brothers kind of being uh, in the company like that, I'm sure weird stuff goes on, but you know, really crazy to see him call the top. And it, I'm really surprised that Tesla had such a drastic move down. I guess that that news with Elon really kind of caught on today. And like we've been talking about, it's really crazy to see Elon do some of this crazy stuff, but that's really what gives him that type of uh, likable personality. But man, it really killed the stock today. Yeah, it was on such a great uptrend. And I mean, over the past week, it just totally reversed. So, you know, be careful if you're in this one. IV still rising. So just be careful with it. But Tom, let's uh, touch up a little bit on Palantir's earnings. I know a lot of people are curious about this one. A lot of long-term holders. It's down 10% today. What's going on? Yeah, early on, you know, Palantir ended up moving up in pre-market. And then we had that huge sell-off come out. Um, it was just a really bad thing to see. But the good news is that Palantir's revenue actually grew 36% year over year to $392 million. It is a slowdown from the two consecutive quarters of 49% year over year growth, but the company also does provide a strong outlook for the current quarter per CNBC. So that's awesome news to see. We can see their EPS actually came in right at or I should say just under the estimate there. It depends whose analyst you're looking at, but in the end I feel like that Palantir still came in pretty good, you know. The year over year revenue still grew 36% while it was a bit of a slowdown. I think that they're still going to be pretty good for the longer term. And they have some good contracts like with the government and stuff like that. So I feel like that for the longer term, they should do pretty good, even though we're seeing a dip right now. Yep, I agree with you. So I know we've had a lot of volatility this week and it's only to get more volatile. What are some like the big earnings for this week? Yeah, there's some more huge ones coming out. We actually have Fiverr and Wendy's tomorrow. I know Wendy's has a it was kind of like a meme stock a while ago, but tomorrow after close is going to be the big one, Mike. We have Disney, Wish, Affirm, um, even beyond right there. So lots of big ones reporting tomorrow after close. Obviously, we're all going to be, be watching Disney. AFRM is going to be pretty big with Affirm do, um, reporting as well. They've been really flying up with some awesome deals that they've been making. So hopefully all these stocks go up. I know SoFi or Sophie has been a pretty big uh a pretty hyped up stock as well. So um, my favorite ones to watch is going to be AFRM, I think, with all the stuff going on. And I know you're going to be loving Disney. Yeah, I hope I am. <laughs> I, you yeah. know, as long as the stock holds up, I definitely will be. But with the way earnings season has been, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. We've been seeing some stocks fly up, like Tesla reported earnings ended up flying up for the next couple of weeks. But then we had some stocks like CHGG just report and tank off to the downside. Even DraftKings had a little bit of a move down. So very, uh, very mixed earnings season. You know, sometimes we see more of an upside trend, but this time has been very crazy. So it's going to be crazy with Disney. You know, honestly, watching it, Mike, I really hope that they come in with some good Disney Plus numbers. I think that would be really good. But, you know, with the way they're selling off today, I just don't know what to think. Yeah, I'm not too worried about them. They're a solid company. You know, they're they're always growing and adapting. So even if they do fall, it'll just present a, a good buying opportunity for the long term. And I feel that way, uh, just like I do with Palantir and DraftKings and Corsair. So, you know, it sucks when, when one of your uh, favorite stocks dip down. But, you know, if you like them for the long term, just buy the dip. So not too worried about it, but I'll definitely be watching that earnings report. And uh, let's get right into our member of the day, which is Andrew. Andrew B. So huge shout out, Andrew. Thank you so much for all the awesome comments on YouTube. Tom and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for all the support. And Tom, let's get right into these momentum plays for tomorrow. With the first one, we have AI to the upside. Yep. And with AI, go ahead and make them break out above 53.82 at their high of day today. And this stock on the daily chart starting to really break out. Yep. And with the next one, we have PayPal, but to the downside. Yeah, they had a bad earnings report today. Go ahead and make them fall below that key $200 support. I think that's going to be a big level for them. And honestly, I can't even believe they fell down to 200. Yep. But the next one we have square also to the downside. Yep. Go ahead and make them break down below 229.72, right there around 230. All right, so we're watching AI to the upside and then PayPal and Square to the downside, but only if they break the levels Tom listed. We have to showcase Square, Tom. The bot had a 
pretty good call out with it today. We can see the bot call out the square 230 puts for $315 each, ran all the way up to 415. So if you're an options trader and you're looking for daily swing trade and day trade alerts, definitely check out the first link in the description and the comments down below. Like I said, daily swing and day trade alerts, plus an amazing community to have access to. We have a coupon running right now, and worse come to worst, you can cancel at any time, but I'll, I'll tell you, the bot's been doing pretty well lately. Out of the last 10 plays, Every single, every single one of them popped for 10%, and the best one popped for 121%. So if you are an options trader, definitely try it out. Even if it's only for one month, you can cancel at any time, and we have a coupon running. So good stuff there, and let's get right into the comments from the previous video. Tom, with the first comment, we have Donald asking about KIND. So K-I-N-D, what do you think about this one? You know, I feel like this stock has been really mixed. I mean, they just IPO'd or I should say came onto the market either way. I don't know exactly what they did, but it's just been really crazy the past uh, couple of days, obviously. Um, I would say personally, just give it a couple of days. You know, sometimes we see stocks just fly up like this and then start to really tank off or we'll see them fly down and then start to come back up over the next couple of months. So I don't know. I feel like it could end up going either way. Um, it just came onto the market and I really hope it ends up going to the upside, but you know, in the end, I would just give it some time and kind of see how the data looks in, in the future. All right. With the next comment, we have Corbin asking if we could cover Boeing. He has the 225 and 230 calls that expire in three weeks. I like Boeing, but the, my only concern is, you know, that uh, expiration date, three weeks out, data is pretty bad. So shares are pretty awesome on Boeing and even leaps, but all in all, I really like Boeing. Yeah, I feel like it could end up going up right here. But like you said, it's going to get pretty hurt, especially if we end up even consolidating. So um, I like Boeing. I really hope that we start to break out. One good thing is, is that we actually started to break out of the trend line here on the daily chart, which is nice to see. We started to move above it and we actually confirmed off of it today. So hopefully we can start to see a turnaround here with Boeing. I think if we start to see it, it could be a pretty good entry here, but I would definitely wait a little bit and start to start to see that confirmation. I feel like if we start to break out above 225 or up above 230, I think we'll start to see a pretty good level and a good confirmation. Awesome. Then we have Ryan saying, great video as always. I'm rooting for Chewy long term. Hope you both have a great day. So thank you so much for that awesome comment. And I'm a pretty big fan of Chewy for the long term, uh, C-H-W-Y. They've had a pretty nice recovery over like the past couple weeks or so. And I feel like over the long term, they can do very well. Yeah, they really have. And I, I remember, Mike, just a couple weeks ago, me and you were talking about them a ton whenever they were touching this $60 support. And man, they've actually been just flying to the upside. Looks very good. I actually, um, I'm really liking it right now. And I, while it might consolidate for a couple of days with some of these growth stocks and Tesla going down, I really like it for the next couple of months, a couple of years. And man, that was such a great uh, bounce off support there. And we were talking about that one a ton, Mike. I remember uh, you were loving this one down there. And there's been a lot of stocks lately popping up off of these supports. There we go. So Tom, do you have any last minute stocks or anything you're watching for tomorrow? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm looking at a few stocks to the downside. I'm still eyeing up pollens here. I really hope they don't keep going down. You know, AMC actually had a really bad move to the downside today. I'm going to really be eyeing them up over the next couple of days. Unfortunately, their earnings went pretty south, and you can see that they're starting to sell off pretty drastically. So hopefully they don't break this $39 support. That would not be looking good for tomorrow. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking at Tesla with all that news going on. I feel like this one could continue down, but man, they had a big down 12% today. So I don't know. I would definitely expect some volatility for tomorrow, but it's going to be very interesting. Definitely looking at Disney. Um, one stock that I'm really still eyeing up to the upside is Lucid Motors. You know, they did have a down day today with Tesla going down, but they've been on the uptrend and they kind of recovered up at the end of the day. So hopefully they can start to get back up there, but it's going to be really hard unless Tesla goes up. There we go. So if you guys like our content, don't forget to subscribe. We post brand new videos every single day and let us know what stocks you're watching in the comments down below. We'll probably take a look at them in tomorrow's video. If you are an options trader, definitely check out the first link in the description and the comments down below. Daily plays are waiting for you and we have a coupon running. So definitely check it out and thank you for watching.